what's up it's someone that's no one and here's a video on poppy ct guys first time trying story time recorded this straight out of work after some massive bong rips so uh this is real and uh someone that's no one hope you enjoy subscribe and like if you want to see more so yeah without further ado let's get into it <laughs> what's good What's up? <coughs> How's it going? <laughs> How's it fucking going? It's someone that's no one, and uh, we're back with another video. Welcome to a story time special. Uh, this is probably the first of many to come to be done in this format. Some of you, uh, still some of you, still some of you. This may be fresh and new to you, alright? And just how the algorithm recommends some type of some type of videos, but if you watch the smoke session smoke uh, smoke sessions, right? We've been doing this like pretty uh, hardcore, like almost every smoke session now, where we just hop on this camera, right? And just it's real life. It's just verbatim, like straight up. And this is kind of how I'm going to do the future stories, alright? Reason being is, I partially just have waited to tell a lot of these stories because I just was like, oh, I want to write about this and I just want to get super detailed in this way and just like really get like really intricate and just like, because I naturally like to write. You know, I, I'm working on these books on the side and whatnot, and just as a kid, since, since I was a kid even, like, I was writing these stories and whatnot, and just figured, like, wait, let me get my own personal, like, you know, the writing techniques flowing with it and all this shit, and, just, and you can kind of see this there, but at the same time, this shit takes time, bro, this shit takes time, man, I'm not even kidding, bro, like, we're still, no, yeah, we still have, <laughs> we, uh, I thought I finished chapter one, we won't even say it, but we're still in chapter fucking two, and that's from, uh, it's getting six, seven years ago now, man, like, and I'm taking the right thing, I should, uh, at max, I feel like, be taking a few months for each story, like, even, like, a month even, like, well, this is how we're gonna do it. Uh, it's fresh in my head, right? The experience just happened literally yesterday. <clears throat> and I figured, you know, uh, it wasn't always my style. That's why I kinda always done it with the writing and with, was waiting on it. But uh, just recently, like I said, with these smoke sessions, we've done this. We haven't done one in a minute, to be honest. Uh, it's been a minute since I've done a smoke session. Just came out here like this. But, uh... Man, yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. And I figured it's just like... It's another way to tell the story. And it does come out. I've told, like... Not full in-depth stories like this one. I guess this isn't even that in-depth like that. Because it's really just, uh some tea type shit and some effects happened and yeah it's it's just first time reporting on that right but yeah I, I, it, again it's all come come has come together in ways we have <laughs> before this open with some bong ribs so and I'm fresh out of work boys to one day in the bread but uh without further ado uh, we're not sparking, I guess. We got the... Is it broke fucking... Half-broke pen, bro. This stupid thing... Doesn't connect well away, so there we go. Low battery. Fuck a low battery. Take some rips before we actually get into the content and whatnot. But I just want to explain and lay some stuff down. It's been a little lively around here too. Boki, these fucking kids, these kids, bro, just be running around like goddamn, like 
it's it's all good. It's all good. It's good vibes, you know. It's good to be in an area where you know you can see and just have like uh, the youth just going about like that. It's it's nice. So, <coughs> anyways, uh, should we just get into the today's story? I suppose so. But yeah, that's what what we'll be doing. What we're gonna do. Fucking stumbling over my sentences in this opening up. It, it, we're keeping this shit real. Fuck it, okay? But we're just gonna be, uh, it's this live stuff. And I was even thinking maybe we'll do, like, just depending, like, some live experiences type shit. It's just live recordings of the experience. Uh, I was possibly th- thinking of doing it yesterday, but I was just like, We'll just, uh, you know, have the experience, and I'm just going to subjectively come talk about it the next day, and uh, what I thought, I guess, so, but I guess it depends, you know, some things, it's like, this isn't something, like, very uh, super in-depth, I feel like, with a lot of context uh, behind the experience, uh, compared to, you know, a dissociative trip or something, or a psychedelic trip, whatever, <coughs> But, uh, you know, there's still a lot there. But, anyways, let's get into today, today, Junior, today's story. So, Poppy CT, Chapter 5, let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking go. It's all day. Poppy CT. So, I got recommended this a while ago from some subscribers, a couple actually. Um, Shout out to Kenny. Big shout out to Kenny. Hope you're doing well, bro. Um, hooked on this shit heavy, apparently. Like, uh, dude was telling me, like, this shit is better than heroin to me, bro. Like, okay. <clears throat> is that an appealing quality to me? I mean, not necessarily. But the fact that, you know, I guess, you know, it depends on your quality, or is anyone getting pure H these days? Probably not, but at the same time, though, it's like, you know, it's something that's still probably going to smack, right? It's still smacking, like, in some way. So to have that comparison is pretty nice, and we're going to talk about, you know, just how I feel about that, and my experience compared with other opiates, uh... I have not done dope. <laughs> if you don't gather that, so I have not done H though. So that's not one of the comparisons, but that is his comparison that I will just bring up now. But uh, well, better than it. So, <clears throat> but just to give some reference, I've done plenty of hydrocodone, plenty of oxycodone, a uh, ton of kratom, a uh, ton of codeine. Um, I think those are just, I don't think I've honestly explored out of those. No. I honestly, oh, tram it all, but that's fucking, uh, I don't count that shit. Uh, there's probably something else I might be missing. But honestly, like, I know there's a quite a bit that do, does exist, but I honestly don't think I've messed with it so I mean hydrocodone and oxycodone are pretty uh, staples especially with the oxys uh, oxys can fucking send you depending on how uh, far you go in with them but uh hydrocodone is more of the comparison we'll bring up here today but let's just set up I guess this story and what actually happened and then we'll cover all the effects and whatnot. so uh yeah, I just took this pretty casually. Uh, Crescent Moon is currently uh, happening. Uh, this current moon phase, I decided we'll just set in and do this and have the right vibes for it. And uh, I won't describe how I made the tea and whatnot, but you know, I got these poppy seeds. Basically, uh, again, won't get too specific with this. This is an instructional or anything like that. This is the story. So, and just yeah. Uh, my uh first impressions you know all that stuff yeah i just prepared pretty casually uh actually coming into this not on a ton of sleep all right so we had a little bit of uh addy the day prior 
did not get very much I'm talking like two hours something like that because I was just kind of like not well not fucking tired to begin with then I was just like not feeling the way the fact that like I don't want to get a long sleep because I don't want to throw out my schedule with uh, the gym and all this shit so I was just like fuck it like we'll just get a couple hours or <clears throat> two two and a half hours and we're gonna go at four in the morning <laughs> And just do this, I don't give a fuck. So, just keep in mind, yeah, I'm kind of just tired throughout the day. But at the same time, in the back of my mind, I have this motivation to just, like, yeah, I'm not going to throw out my schedule. And we're just going to do this poppy C- the poppy CT today later on and see how it is. Uh, I might be coming in tired to this, which I very much did. But <clears throat> it is what it is. So... Yeah, just a little impactful thing that is way different than if I were to take some now, for example. Anyways, I prepared it in the afternoon. Uh, I'll just say we got some lemons to add with it. So, lemon extract is supposed to help pull out the alkaloids a bit more, apparently. And, uh... I will say the lemon did uh, not only help in that regard, but also just taste profile really ended up tasting like this lemony tea that had no like no real flavor to it like that from the poppy seeds that I could tell and I guess like something <clears throat> like you know, y'all have like the poppy seed bagels right but it's like does that really even taste like like much to, I, I honestly don't feel like it I mean a little bit right and you notice that a little bit but like this shit don't really have, like, any flavorful like that, uh, like, so, because a lot of people were saying, like, this shit's gross as fuck, right, fucking giant motherfucker, get the fuck out, <laughs> that's what that thing, the thing about coming outside, man, hell nah, <laughs> and I remember we had the young centipede, bro, not centipede, bro, the fucking centipede, oh, praying mantis, man, yeah, the young mantis last year. I don't know. We don't have another one that come. No offspring, from what I can tell. Which, bro, we we need that. <laughs> we need the predators out here. Anyways, off track, off track, off track, off track. We need them to fight off these stupid hoes, right? <laughs> Anyways, oh, where were we? So yeah. Yeah, we prepped this tea. I mean, I just kind of get ready for my work week and shit. Like, I make some food and all, whatnot. Uh, do some cleaning and whatnot. Like, clothes, for example. And uh, working on this video currently that we recorded the day prior. So, doing some editing at the same time. And, uh... So excited for this fuck for the NBA games coming on. But, anyways... <coughs> So it was just real casual, to be honest, just doing what I would normally do. And honestly, this is kind of how this experience plays out in what I do for the most part. Fucking bugs, bro. Holy shit. Motherfuckers, are fucking, it rained earlier, so. Anyways, bro. Yeah. Yeah, we made this tea. This shit is, yeah, I won't explain how we made it and whatnot. I won't won't get too detailed but uh it was a pretty cool way with the the soaking and all this and that so and because i've never made tea in this way so like it was cool it it took under uh an hour and a half to actually make it uh actually preparing it uh figure out the best method now so next time i feel like be able to cut that down just a little bit and the, so I feel like in total it took me like two, two and a half hours. But I feel like realistically with the amount of time you need to give it, yeah, I could probably get it done in an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. So not too bad in terms of time. And you can also just make a huge batch apparently and just store some. Uh, I don't see why not, I guess. But <laughs> anyways... So we make this batch. I was kind of worried about the taste. 
Uh, I remember just like I would say my stomach was off. I remember I was like extra hungry because I feel like because I didn't sleep, so I felt like I felt like I needed the energy. And that's a recent study I actually posted that uh, your body will compensate if you do uh, lose sleep and it will spike your hunger levels. So, anyways, <clears throat> so that that was one thing, but. Uh, I wouldn't say my stomach felt off in ways, but it, I don't think it felt necessarily normal in ways either. Like, so I was a little bit worried, like, alright, we gotta be careful here, I don't wanna just jump into this, and just, it being strong as fuck, to where, like, man, I'm gonna get nauseous, yeah, fucking everywhere, like, it's a bad time, and, but, that doesn't happen. We do do, uh, I did do a lower dose, uh, at least from what I estimated. The thing is with poppy seeds, uh, they actually are going to vary with their alkaloid contents and the potency. So, one batch of this many grams may be equal to twice as many of another batch, for example. How this turns out, so... Yeah, we wait, we prepare this, and we start sipping it. Like I said, it has that lemony taste. It's not bad at all. Um, it doesn't have a strong flavor profile, in my opinion. Uh, it was honestly, like, this is something I could honestly drink as a tea. Like, it's, it's probably better than Kratom, honestly. Don't add too much lemon, I feel like. So, but just the right right amount. And it, it's nice, it's nice, especially... Add some uh, warm water in there too, which mix it up. Yeah, it's it's nice, it's nice. So just drinking it was decent in itself, and I feel like I got the first effects in about I want to say six, seven minutes or so. Just noticed a general shift. I was just talking to my girlfriend and whatnot, and I just noticed like. Oh, yeah, I, I did not feel like this just a few minutes ago, and I won't say this turned out to be very recreational like that. It was more so like I don't want to say like a coffee feeling, like a coffee boost feeling, kind of like the feeling kratom gives you, just kind of a a light dose of kratom, where it's uh. It can be clear-headed in that sense, but it's almost like lifting, almost. Like the, the white doses. Almost. But in where it differs, though, uh, as this develops, so the, this, uh, I'm talking over time, so it develops uh, the more I sip on it, I notice, and the more time goes on, I notice. The way it differs from Kratom and these other opioids I brought up, it's just, I'd say a lot smoother. There's like no degree of heaviness at all. With Kratom, I feel like I can get this like, I don't know, this kind of heavy feeling at times, depending, especially if you go higher with the dose and whatnot. And it's also more on your stomach, I suppose. Uh, actually, a good comparison is more so the Kratom extracts, I feel like. Because uh, you won't get as strong as the of a body high with it but at the same time this uh, poppy ct here it's uh thought to be morphine as the main active alkaloid but we do have you know uh, codeine and whatnot and possibly some others um playing a role in some way but yeah it's strongly a body high i'd say at least in my experience at least at this dose and what i got from it so it's, like I said, it's clear-headed and smooth. It wasn't heavy on the head by any means, but it wasn't heavy on the body either, like, but at the same time, it's like, all right, all right. And it's not, it's not like opioids, I guess, are defined by heaviness necessarily, but because like, you know, I think in my past experience, you know, they can be very euphoric and uplifting in ways, you know? So, but at the same time, I feel like not always, depending on the substance, like I'm saying, up too, like, so, but, like, for example, uh, in terms of, like, pain relief, 
Uh, I just had some general soreness and general kind of like a little bit of achiness from uh, I guess just not sleeping and whatnot, and that went away. That completely just like washed away, and very smoothly, very subtly. It's not like this smacked, and it's probably because you know I'm just sipping on it, just you know casually and whatnot, and you know so it's a gradual come up for sure. Yeah, I just felt like like man, I feel like just really good. Like my body feels just really good like I can feel like I can just really move so much in the so much so in the so much so don't know what, what what the fuck I was trying to say so much so that I said fuck it dude I, I gotta shoot some hoops right now like we gotta go ball like and we just go outside and just like start balling keep on I'm like I'm two hours of sleep and like I would not have done this, like, at all, I was actually, like, leading up to this, even, like, before this, I should say, I was, uh, I remember I was, uh, just doing some editing and whatnot, and just, like, getting to that sleepy phase, just, like, uh, like, fuck, uh, fuck, <laughs> fucking, uh, I gotta take a nap, like, man, I should take a nap before this, maybe, man, like, just super tired, right, so, like, then that completely washed away I guess there was a you could say it's uplifting in that regard like in the fact that like I was not tired anymore so and I just felt like yeah let's go let's go let's go do some stuff and just so it had that like kratom productivity vibe to it and I've gotten that from hydrocodone too uh personally so um Opiates just kind of can inspire that in ways. I feel like in my experience, I haven't gotten that from fucking oxys though, but definitely more recreational. And I was just getting these feelings of like, like this is super clean, man. Like, like I know, like yeah, it's still opium, and you know, <laughs> it's still yeah, it's I guess not the necessarily the best, but it's like I don't know, things in the right dose, right? And the, in moderation, you know, it could, in theory, be very beneficial and helpful, I feel like. I just felt like, like this, man, this is, it's that natural, right? It's this plant, bro. It's that natural, bro. Fuck these pills, bro. Like, I'd rather do this shit. I'd rather do this shit. Fuck it. All day. But like I said, I didn't really do too much on it. Uh, did some hooping, did some cleaning and whatnot, and like I said, it just made things feel everything pretty, pretty smooth. And also, I remember uh, just uh, going to lay down and whatnot. Finally, bro, oh, with the coziness, bro, with the coziness, bro. And it's not like I wouldn't put this past like you know low level dose of oxys, but keep in mind, like I said, I dosed it at a pretty low level itself uh, just to begin with because just to be safe like this is actually has uh, been reported to have uh, what fatal overdoses at times so it's uh, I'm pretty for sure for in result from respiratory depression just from it being too strong so my impressions is at least left me intrigued I didn't feel like I desired it strongly like that like, I don't feel like, oh, man, we gotta get this again and again. Like, nah, like, I guess I don't even have a drive for any substance like that uh, too strongly. Well, <laughs> maybe some mushrooms, bro, or some K, or something like that. Like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's time has gone on, I'm more into the trippies, for sure, more so than the feelings. But, at the same time, I mean, the feelings are huge for just vibing, for just chilling. It's not always about tripping, right? There's a time and a place for tripping, and, like, too much tripping, I feel like it's too much, you know? It's just too much, right? So, you don't want it too much. And besides that, I did want to bring up the... I do feel like it peaked around two hours, like... Uh, I stayed up for I think like five to six hours of it so uh but by the end of it I just went to bed so I can't really tell exactly when like if the effects started to like taper off significantly like that 
but uh, I feel like it did peak around like two, two to three hours, more so like two, two hours in. Uh, I just noticed just, and I remember just like how lost it got me too, and just like my mental, like I almost forgot I took it, like honestly, like, and I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Probably a good thing in ways, but just like with how focused it was making me, and just like. Like how I ease it, put my body and everything. It's just like it's very nice, very smooth. So uh, it was it was a good experience. So it's all your typical opiate effects. Uh, just kind of like I said, uh, mainly strongly a bodily high. I didn't feel like it was too much uh, recreational. Like I said, I got these very enjoyable effects and whatnot. I got this. Like I was even like testing, pinching my skin and whatnot. Hitting my fucking shit, like, just to see, like, all right, how strong is this, uh, this, uh, pain relief right now, and it's pretty significant, like, honestly, like, so I can see this being, uh, actually very medicinal in ways, uh, if you need, uh, a pain color and you're not getting prescribed one for whatever reason, so, at the same time, though, it's, the addictive uh, substance, right? Uh, opiates is one class I'm very careful about, uh, just because of my family history with it. It's the the one class is uh, not as what it is not led to some good things with some people in my life. We'll just say that, okay? So uh, coming into this, like, exciting. Because I haven't had an opiate in a while, and it's like, this is, if this is a viable method like that, it's like, this is actually just dope as fuck, too. Like, it's actually, you know, poppy seeds, like, from the opium plant, like, it's, just, it's cool, like. And I remember just, like, way back, way back, I was, like, telling Evan, bro, you guys know Evan from chapter one, like, telling Evan, like, bro, opium, bro. Let's try fucking opium. <laughs> the fucking plant. Let's do it. He'd probably be fucking down if I hit him up, but dude's busy around me. Fucking working, kids, bro. <laughs> it's, we're out here. The wizards are exploring, okay? <laughs> wizards, someone, that's no one. Poppy CT ritual is completed. 2CB should be next, I think. We're going to see how things play out, though, and whatnot. Uh, I'm not rushing to get to the next thing, but this is uh, just a mark, right? This is Chapter 5, another thing tried. And I think we will revisit this, honestly, and just, like, probably do a let's dive in on it and all this and that, because it honestly deserves it. Uh, more exploration. And I would like to see how m much of a stronger dose you could really get to like all right can i really like get to a kind of nodding like stay just kind of like really just be like fucked like from what dude was saying and just from what i hear man like like i got like a decent cool chill experience my first time here but like yeah like some of these <laughs> some of these reports and stuff like jeez like, it's a real deal Alright, it's the real deal. That's what it is. So, I think I told most of what I wanted to tell with this. Fucking these bugs, bro. Giant ass m mosquito, bro. Hell nah. Hell nah. Alright, well... Yeah, I think I told what I mostly want to told and explain what I wanted to explain with this video and everything. We got kids coming in here, so we're going to wrap this shit up. <laughs> Let me know what you guys want to see next. Let me know what you thought of this video, this story. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. It's been someone that's no one. And peace out.